Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Company. We are playing some more RimWorld continuing here with our colony, which is going well, although we are sans a few people right now who are still out on a quest for another uh, 8.2 days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want them home, man. I want them home. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of dirt right now. I think Hermione is our only cleaner. Uh, yeah, she's cleaning dirt. You know what's probably happening here? I think our home area is probably way too big. Yeah, we could probably go ahead and restrict some of this as our home area. Like some of this, yeah, like we don't need any of this as our home area uh, now, but you know, especially right now when we are uh, only have like one cleaner. Yeah, so let's just get rid of some of that spot. So, um, I'm trying to get rid of you, there. Yeah. The other thing is uh, we could restrict our animals so they don't come tracking through because they're bringing in dirt with them. Or you know what? We actually, you know what? Actually, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Clear a loud area. We're going to do the bison, and I'm just going to keep them off the dirt. I actually think this was suggested to me, and I just kind of think we've been ignoring it up to this point. Um, they're actually not even allowed there already. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're just going to have them avoid any of those because it's, you know, dirt. Um, might as well keep them off here. I probably should go put floor in here, but I still don't know what I want to do with this area. So I'm kind of like hesitant to do dirt until we get there. But yeah, we're just going to keep them off those tiles just for the time being. Um, I'll leave everything else. If they go walk in some of the other dirt, that's fine. But yeah, that's going to hopefully keep them from walking on there. So then they're not going to. Oh, but then they won't pick up the plants, but they'll pick it up if they're right next to it. That's fine. That's fine. A little laggy. I'm not sure why it's laggy today, but it's just a little framey. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, um, Brian is doing what? He's working on the floor, which is good. So we have our two people over here that we're trying to get, um, we're trying to impress enough here. Uh, 70 outside, 71 inside. We might need air conditioners. It's December. I'm not going to turn the air conditioners on. <laughs> it's out of principle at this point. It's December, man. It's freaking December. Uh, anything else I want to do here? Stork, I think, is actually... Okay, resistance is down to 5.1. I thought she was pretty close to being zero. So, I don't think they take the entertainment. I don't think they can use entertainment. The fact that they... Well, actually, here's a good question. Yeah, they don't even have entertainment listed. So, comfort, beauty, rest. So, we probably could get rid of this and put it somewhere else, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll deconstruct it and do something else. What we need is we need some artwork, which is why I need one of those two guys, so we can get the artwork going. Roxy's working on floors. God, look how quick she is on floors. Oh, my God. Wow. What's Parku doing? Oh, my God. I didn't even know it was possible to clear floors that quickly. Woo. Dude, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's quite nice. Okay, so we got this jade out here. doesn't matter. It's not disintegrating, so it's fine. Do we need to go hunt some animals to get some meat? Yeah, actually, we do. We are out of meat, which means we're going to run out of meals here. Um, so go kill the bucks and the does, please. Uh, and then the turkeys. And then the hares. And Bendin's around, right? Yeah, we have Bendin, so he should go hunt. I think he's still on hunting. Bendin, Bendin, Bendin. Yeah, he's still on hunting. We also have him on growing. I mean, we need the growing, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's still, we're just in like this weird spot where it's like we need a little bit of everything, but we're actually, ugh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's going to change the game a whole freaking butt ton for us. We're going to need hydroponics now. Probably ASAP. What are you currently working on? Advanced fabrication? Yeah, um, change of plans. Go to hydroponics, and we need to get this going right away. Because I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're about to lose all of our plants. Like, yeah, I think we're going to lose all of our plants. Um... So let's do this real quick. I'm going to put Brian on planning. Forget construction real quick. Go on plant cutting. Because we're going to need to get that taken care of. Emily's also... No, she's no, she's planning. She was planning. So that means we must be good on meals. We're at 130. We're at 512. Is that what we were doing? I thought it was 150. It's 150. We have 150. Oh, because 20 are up here. Gotcha. Gotcha. So right now, the ash is not bad.
Yeah, well, what's the light right now? Hmm. Growth rate, non-ideal temperature. Growth rate, the growth rate is going up, so things are still growing then. Okay, okay. I still, I feel like we should go knock out hydroponics though, as quickly as possible. I think so. That that concerns me a whole freaking lot right now. So, yeah, let's get that taken care of, and then we'll go from there. Um, give me one sec. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it said it can last for a long time, which I don't even know what is the quadrium or whatever that is. The, uh, uh, whatever it said. I have no idea how long it potentially could be. I wonder if that's affecting their needs. Prisoner sold ratty apparel. No. Roxy, prisoner sold darkness. Oh, because she's inside right now. Uh, I mean, we could put some lights in there, but, like, I don't really care right now. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, she can deal with it. Roxy feels like she struggles to stay happy for some reason. Why? Great memory. Interesting. Fast walker. Volatile. That's why. She's volatile, so she breaks a little quicker. Um, yeah, it's not that big of a deal, though. Hermione is cleaning. How is the temperature in here, by the way? 67. Okay, it's a little on the big side. What's it outside? Yeah, see, now it's down to 54. But it is winter, so it's not, like, into the world here. Uh, growth rate's 83. So, I mean, they're still growing. Not as efficient, but they're still growing. I need hauling. Logan's currently hunting. No, no, Logan should not be hunting. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Logan, I don't want you hunting. I'm gonna turn you off real quick. I'm gonna put you on a 2. And actually, I'm going to put Logan on hauling real quick. Just because we have all this crap out here. And it's going to deteriorate. Especially with the volcanic ash, I imagine it's going to deteriorate a little bit quicker. Um, you're... Okay. I mean, yeah, that's technically something you could haul. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay, the cloth is fine. And in fact, honestly, hauling, that's probably a better idea right now than the uh, corn. Because if we lose some corn, that's fine. But losing the cloth right now is kind of um, not great. Yeah, not great. Parker's getting high. Whatever. I mean, that's not really what I want them for, but, you know, sure. I was making it to sell, but why is it so much brighter in here? Is there a brightness level? Lit 50%. Lit 50%. Lit 50%. Huh, interesting. Calmness needs treatment. Emily... Oh, Emily and Logan got in a punching fight. What happened? Uh, Emily and Logan chatted about training pelicans. This is after they got in a fight, by the way. Emily called Logan an owl. <laughs> and then after that, they talked about pelicans. You know, pretty normal stuff here. Pretty normal stuff. She had her left big toe destroyed in the fight. Oh, all right. You know. It's, wait, 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 what? So she now has a prosthetic right leg and she's now missing a left toe. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Emily's becoming really bad at walking. <laughs> We're gonna need something to help her walk apparently in the future. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna need to like give her like, you know, like mechanical legs. You know, I'm just thinking like, um, like kind of like those mech walkers you know kind of like almost like uh uh the at walkers not the atsts but the ats and the prequels and star wars you know something like that she's gonna have to like walk around on here in the future apparently at this rate man um okay well that day other than you know emily getting her big toe destroyed really didn't accomplish much which is fine chill days right now are good more chill days just you know until we can get our people back i'm fine with this it's also just kind of weird right now because it's like we can't really do everything I want to do because we're lacking people. But hey, hey, you know what? It was worth it because guess what? We are now allies. Beautiful. God dang it. Why is it always flash storms, man? Jeez. Like how many flash storms have we gotten in this playthrough? We have gotten like 10 times more flash storms than we have, you know, bugs. And I never thought I'd actually be complaining about getting flash storm versus bugs, but like it's starting to like get that way, seriously. Luckily, this one took place during the day and it wasn't middle of the night. Yeah, this one wasn't so bad. I should just let everything burn down at this point. <laughs>
<laughs> it's already a volcanic winter, so, you know. Uh, we don't have enough people to put crap out. Because keep in mind, Brian doesn't do this. So, two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, everyone's doing it except Brian. All right, well, good job, everyone. Just kind of pisses them all off because they have to, like, go all the way over there, but oh well. Uh, social, sorry. Uh, you should have no resistance. Yeah, you're good. Come on. 58% chance failed. Dang. And then you're still at 1.6. Did that upgrade? Yeah, that update is. You're at 1.6. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Brian, I think, is our best social. He's only at a 9, actually. Hermione is actually better. 10. I wonder what the difference is. Like, maybe 60% instead of 58. Uh, well, that's the freezer. I was like, it is 20 degrees indoors. What? <laughs> got a little scared there for half a second. Then I realized I was looking at the freezer, and then I got a little less scared. So, I am tempted to, you know, potentially maybe put some traps in here, or maybe some just, like, random guns. Although, the turrets aren't pretty, right? They're kind of ugly. Oh, yeah, they're extraordinarily ugly. Whoopsie. I don't know, just in case bugs spawn over here, but hey, we got Tamara. Okay, cool. Welcome to the clan, Tamara. Welcome to the game, Common. So you're really good at mining. That's not what we really want right now. Um, She's good at a lot of things. She's really good at melee. Crafting, medical, social. Okay. So you can go pick up the helm, yeah. I'm going to give her a melee. Although I think we might have sold all our melee. Do we sell all our melee? It kind of appears that way. Okay, go grab a bolt action. Even though she's a brawler. Oh, she's unhappy because she's a brawler. Eh. Now, she should have... Oh, that's a negative 20. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, go ahead and drop that. <laughs> I didn't realize it would be a negative freaking 20. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Okay, that's fine. So, and she's the one that hates both men and women. Cool, cool. So, what do I want to do with her? Well, let's put um, these all down to one. Your doctoring sucks, so I'm not going to worry about it. Wardening, you're at a nine. So I'm going to put that at a 1, too. You can help out. Emily, get rid of the Warden. You don't need a Warden. She can cook. I'm going to put her on a 2 on cooking. I'm going to put her on a 2 on mining. So I'm going to put those both on 3. And I'm going to put instead smithing on a two with crafting on a one. Something like that. What are you doing right now? Consuming a simple meal. That's fine. She should get a nice little mood boost. Anyone's going to get a nice little mood boost here from eating just because, like, our dining room is so amazing. Tattered apparel. This is Emily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're almost completely fixed here. Or uh, completely done. Extremely impressive barracks. I want to get some artwork in here, too. This might actually flip you. Uh, got the resistance down to zero. I'm going to go ahead and just delete those because they're not doing anything. Do they add any impressiveness? Actually, that's a good question. Uh, you know what? They are adding impressiveness. So now, now let's leave it. Yeah, because that was an excellent quality one. Wasn't one of these? Yeah, that was a masterwork stool too. All right, well, we'll leave them for now. <clears throat> I, I say it's better than... <coughs> Excuse me, granola bar. I assume it's better than, um, nothing. You know, it's not quite artwork, but hey, sure. So I don't know about clothing. Actually, I kind of want to keep an eye on Tamara. So she ended up taking that bedroom with baby bison calf number one, who needs to get named. Are you female or male? You're a female. Yes, finally. So then you can be, what? It, it froze. Baby. Uh, Jeff Fett. No, you know what? No, 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 no. I got a better name. Baby Jeff Ean. Jeff Ean? Sure, right? 
I mean, I know it's not an actual name, so it doesn't really matter how I spell it then, right? Go Frenzy for Emily. Nice. Cool. Get to work. Get some cooking done, woman. Yeah, you get some cooking done. We could... I don't know. We could sell and or butcher some of these bison. The thing is, I don't mind the bison, though, because the bison's giving us wool. So, you know, we can start making some stuff out of wool here. We're still five short. Well, we could if we could get some more wool quicker. Still looking good. Uh, Hermione, so you broke it, so we're going to start recruiting you, which shouldn't take too long here. Yeah. I'm tempted. I wonder if we should put a switch out here on this stuff just to keep this bedroom off when no one's in there. I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter because the heater and coolers we probably want anyways because they'll help spread everywhere else, number one. Uh, speaking of which, it's actually a little cold inside. Uh, oh, and it's actually freezing in here. I don't know I care about that, though. That isn't, like, my biggest concern in the world because it's just a pass-through. So... Let's build one here. I'm going to build one there, too. Get a couple more going. Power supply should still be good. Uh, actually, not as much as I thought. Interesting. Hydroponics are now done. Okay. Um. They are growing not really well, though. We're going to want a hydroponics area, which means I'm going to need to carve out a new area for hydroponics. Yep. Yep. I'm actually tempted to maybe put it over here. Uh, honestly, right here is fine, because we can just do a connection here to the freezer. Yeah. I do hate this, so I do need to actually like expand this wall just a little bit further, because that's going to bug me. <laughs> and really, honestly, there's no reason to like leave this, because I can actually just mine it this way. Yeah, because we want this to continue down here. So, if we were going to think about this here, oh, speaking of which, we don't have floors everywhere. Like, you're not all, you're not smooth yet. Uh, I don't want to smooth the wall. I just want to smooth the floor. We never smoothed you out either. And it looks like everything here is all smooth. Okay, that's fine. So, then let's think about this. We only had a single wide hallway here, which is kind of annoying. Now, the weird thing is because of how these bedrooms are working, we got this weird space here. So the question is, do I want to continue with the three wide? I mean, we could do a four wide hallway here, but that's kind of weird, right? Also, I need to get more medical beds, but the problem with more medical beds is the simple fact that we're lacking components. And so that's where I'm kind of like, I just don't want to waste components right now and so, something like that. I don't necessarily want more one wide tiles either. Well, here's the thing. Now, some of them are two wide, some are three wide. We kind of, I guess we're kind of doing a little bit of everything here. I suppose it's not that big of a deal. So why not do three wide then? Do something like that. Let's just get that mining for now. And then we'll go from there. And I think we're going to end up making this a nice little hydroponics area. Just like a nice huge one. I think will be the plan. Yeah. Yeah, we could put a door here too. Make it work. New recruit, Stork. Nice. Now, Stork was the one we wanted because he's art. Yeah, baby. That's what we want. Okay, Stork, buddy. Uh, you don't care about... Range versus shooting. Slow learner misogynist. No, you don't care. So, um, okay, we'll keep an eye on you, and then we're going to go have to give you uh, one of the other weapons. So, anyways, Stork. One, one, one. Cooking, he has actually got a passion for it. He's not really great right now. I'm going to put him on cooking, too. And then we're going to put him on artwork. And then, yeah, you can go take care of those, too. I do. I know I didn't do ones like I did two. It doesn't really matter. It's like some guys I'm like one on your most important one. Him, I'm like whatever. Uh, so you're going to rest. Uh, before you do that, go grab. It was this one. So, okay, cool. 
So once again, keep an eye on power. Oh no, we got into good, nice excess. But once again, those things are going. So it's like we're lacking the excess when those things aren't going anymore. Which, by the way, we should probably go ahead and deconstruct these because we don't need those anymore and they're ugly. Yeah, please. And I still don't know what we're doing here with power. Wait, why do we even have power going through there? We don't really even need it going through there. You know, especially since we have it right here. Hold up. Let's look at this real quick. So that's this. Oh, uh ho, ho. So I'm going to deconstruct you. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to power conduit here. And then that means we can put a switch right here to shut off all the turrets. And that should work then. And so then these are going to be on separate lines. Um, I'm going to have to delete this, obviously. Once we get this built, then we'll go ahead and delete these. Because, yeah, won't be as necessary. Okay. Okay, we figured that out. That was like a very long-term problem that we finally got working. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't think I need you, Brian, on plant cutting anymore. So go back to construction. Uh, sorry. Um, mining. Please. How much are the doctor beds? Uh, five components. Oh my god. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's annoying. So wait, okay, let's look at this real quick. If I did three, um, then one, two, one, one, two, one. Yeah, that's going to be how we want to do it. So let's cancel you. Let's cancel you. And for the time being, I'm just going to go reinstall you. It doesn't really matter. It's just there. But yeah, that's how we're going to end up having our beds. We'll build one more bed for now. Just one. Because we got all the hydroponics too. So, you know. How is this stuff going? It doesn't have light. So, uh, probably not a good time to look at it. So far, it doesn't seem like the volcanic ash is really screwing us as much as I thought it was going to be. Um, 4.9 days. Oh my god, please. Hurry. Hurry. I need you, buddies. I need my hippopotamus in my life, man. It's 68 degrees inside. Ugh. Still a little cold. Do we get the new ones all built? Yeah, still struggling to keep it, man. It's only 36 outside, too. Like, it's not that cold. But, I mean, 68, 69 is still very, very doable. Like, no one's going to complain about that. Sorry, I thought Bennett was carrying something there, and I got confused. It's just the shield pack on him. Um, So, we would really like Tamara probably to be doing some of the components, but that's okay. Stork is working at night. Not entirely sure why he's working in the middle of the night, but I mean, I'm not really going to complain on this. Am I? No, probably not. We have nine lavish meals. Combat supplier. Sweet. Uh, they're passing nearby. Um, mm, I think we wait for Brian at this point. Tamara's got a nine. Is Tamara injured still? Tamara has no injury condition, so we'll actually use Tamara then. Because Brian will have a negative multiplier because he's injured. Which, can you actually ever get rid of that? Is there actually surgery to get rid of, like, the stab scars? I don't know. A stab wound. Remember, he started the game with that. Which is kind of frustrating, you know? It's like, couldn't really do anything about that. Tamara, you should be pretty healthy here right now. Uh, nope. Still need a little bit more rest. Remember, she hates, like, everyone, so... We're gonna, we would like artwork in everyone's bedroom, by the way, just to get them uh, from decent to like great. Uh, hey, before you do that, go ahead and call. Because this takes like five seconds. Okay, so remember, we need a melee weapon for her. We have the money for the plasma sword. Yeah. 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 They also have six components. Not really a lot. Can I sell my Ambrosia here? No. Me. Oh, we have an SMG, too. I did not realize that. Oh, no, that's them. Brian, wrong way. <laughs> uh, pump shotgun, I'm not going to sell. I will sell you, though, and you, because you're hot trash. And then we have seven simple steel helmets. God, I hate wasting all my money here, but I think we're going to have to. So, uh, I want to look at these one more time before we decide. So, metal cord sword with cutting edge. Plasma is wrapped around the core, held in place by an energy field. Targets are both sliced by the metal core as well, burned or ignited. 
So it does seven damage. Only has 30% armor penetration though. That's kind of bad. The monosword, crystal metallic longsword infused with mechanites that maintain a mono mecular cutting edge. It cuts through even thick armor with ease and its lightweight permits fast attacks. So this one does a lot more damage per second and it has armor penetration, but it doesn't light people on fire. Um, I actually want to Google the difference of these between real quick because I have no idea. To me, it sounds like the mono sword's better. Mono sword versus plasma sword. Uh, the mono sword just seems 100% better. I created a post going through some math, even assuming the plasma sword does 100% heat damage instead of sharp damage, which is not the case. I can assume the setting enemies on fire is a trade off, and the detection rate means you have a link weapon. Uh, Hold up, hold up. I'm seeing with his mono sword, blah, 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 blah. Mono sword, not only does attack faster, does more damage. The armor penetration makes it even more powerful than the plasma sword. The only advantage of the heat swords possibly set the enemy on fire. And that's what I was wondering is maybe saying enemies on fire. Maybe they'll run around and, you know, crazy a little bit. But nah, I think we're going to go mono sword, man. Yeah, let's do mono sword. Same price, too. So let's buy one. I would love two, but, you know, that's going to be kind of hard to afford right now. All right, so sweet. Mono sword means Tamara. What are you doing? Are you home? Oh, see, we don't actually care about cutting stone blocks. Um, I'm going to suspend both of those for now. Yeah, there's a lot of other things I would much rather do. Go ahead and equip that. And then haul the components just to get them in so outside. All right, so she's going to be wrecking with this weapon. We need a shield pack for her. And actually, I think we can make one, correct? Harpsichord, I don't, where's the, oh, it's this one. It's like, where's the table? Not a shield pack. Maybe we can't make it yet. Uh... Crypto, jump packs, auto cannon, deep drilling, specialized limbs, bionic replacements. Should be a little earlier. Should be up here somewhere. Shields. Shield belt. Is it fabrication, maybe? Maybe it's fabrication. No. So it's got to be here, then. Shield belt. I'm probably just missing it. Shield, 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 shield belt. There it is. So what do we need for this? Two components, 50 steel, 20 plus steel. We should be able to do it. Yeah, I think we can. Tamara, making flak vest. Uh, I mean, that's nice, but I kind of want your shield belt right away. So, uh, hold up. Yeah, now she's going to go do the shield belt now. Which, that's what we want. Honestly, I really don't want her to do that. I want her to be working on this, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. 65 degrees inside. Blah. What, what, how are things growing? Are they growing? Growth rate 42, 43%. Okay, so they're still growing. Not great, though. Not great. Okay, so this should all be done, correct? Power, power, power. Yeah, this is all connected now. So I'm going to deconstruct you, please. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, turn off the power here. Cool. And we just need to get over there. Oh, hi. What happened here? Stab, stab, stab. Did he get stabbed by? I have no idea. Yeah, I wonder if he got stabbed by our traps. Huh. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Free meat. Thank you. Don't we need the meat for the kibble, too? I think. Um... Yeah, this is all freezer now, Brian. <laughs> Did not think that one through. Did not think that one through. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna want this wall up here as quickly as possible. Parker, making medicine. Um, yeah, let's get the wall going here. Hey. Please just knock all this out. I didn't even think about it when I was doing it. It was like, oh yeah, whoops. So we're just trying to get this going. Uh, Brian, um, as much as I want you to do this, you need to finish this. 
We gotta we gotta get this going, buddy. Also, that's steel. I'm just now noticing. And then here, and of course that's right there. Great. Okay, so we need to get this going. You there? There. Uh, Parku is making medicine. No, Roxy's doing it, but I think they can both work on the wall at the same time. <clears throat> um. Okay, that was not nearly enough, but that's fine. Roxy is hauling Grant, dumping, no, 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 go work on the wall, please. I need to get this going. I would like our whole base not to be freezing tonight. You know, just throwing that out there. Okay, there we go. So I technically don't need this wall here. So this should now be um, not our freezer. Yeah, whoopsie. <laughs> That's gonna be a great waste for um power too, by the way, just cause it's like, um yeah, trying to heat and coal at the same time. Not really the best idea, so. Okay, I guess let's wrap this episode up here. Tomorrow we should get our people back. 3.8 days. I think we should get our people back. We'll see, but hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.